with your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by West Tech Foundation Repair. Well, after some clouds today, the sun finally started to come out just as it was starting to set this evening. And we're going to continue to be on the clear side as we go through tomorrow. A very sunny day for our Friday. We'll be sunny through the weekend. It's going to warm up as well back into the 70s by the time we get to Sunday. We are watching for a few isolated showers, especially towards the beginning of next week. Another cold front moves in by middle of next week. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, where we're sitting right now, it's 42 degrees out at Mathis Field. Feels like 36 with humidity. Humidity at 58 percent. Winds are in the northeast at 12 miles an hour right now. Pressure sitting at 30.36 inches and rising rapidly with clear conditions. Temperatures across the area look like this. We're sitting in the 40s across much of the area. 41 in Ozona, 43 in Barnhart, already dipping into the upper 30s in Sterling City, 38 in Ballinger, 43 in Edie, and 47 in Brady, 53 still down in Junction. So some of us still hanging on to some of that warmer air. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a cool and clear start to our Friday. Temperatures falling into the the low 30s, upper 20s as you get on the bus tomorrow morning. Heading home tomorrow afternoon, we're going to climb into the lower 50s for daytime highs, sunny conditions across the board tomorrow. So not too shabby of a Friday for us across our area. Daytime highs as we roll into the weekend, we're going to start climbing another warming trend back into the 60s by Saturday, climbing into the low 70s Sunday, Monday, and then again on Tuesday. So get ready for some spring-like weather as we go into the first half of next week. That's not going to last long. I'll tell you why in just a minute, but we could definitely use some rain across our area. The drought monitor for today, starting to see more severe drought take over the area, including St. Angelo, Grape Creek, Ozona, and then seeing extreme drought in our northern counties, north of Sterling City to Robert Lee to Ballinger in extreme drought. So we definitely could use some rainfall. There's a chance that we see some, especially going into the beginning of next week. Clouds and radar right now, not seeing any rainfall in our area. A few passing clouds, a few clouds across the I-10 corridor, may see a few light showers along the I-10 corridor overnight tonight into tomorrow, but these are going to be very brief and very light in the Junction Sonora area, and then they're going to move out of the area as we go into Friday morning. A few passing clouds overnight tonight, otherwise mostly clear conditions, and then a very sunny Friday for us. Plenty of sunshine to come throughout the day on Friday. Temperatures starting to warm back into those 50s. This weekend, we get even warmer. Highs in the 60s and 70s for us. And then as we roll into the beginning of next week, we're watching an upper level low. That's going to bring a chance for a few showers across our area. Right now, we'll hold rain chances at about 20% for Monday. After that, rain really shuts off for us. So we get a little bit of cloud cover ahead of our next front. That's going to bring highs in the 40s as we roll into Friday. Might watch for a little wraparound precipitation. I don't know that we're going to see too much out of this, but something to bear watching as we head towards the end of next week. Otherwise, turning clear as we head towards Friday of next week. Tonight, we'll drop to around 29 under partly cloudy conditions. Winds out of the north around 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then for our Friday, we're going to top out near 53 with sunny and mild conditions. Winds out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So we get through the next five days. This is what to expect. We've got that cold front that came through tonight. That's going to keep things a little bit on the cool side for Friday, but then we warm right back up into the weekend, into the upper 60s, low 70s by Sunday. We'll stay in those 70s through Tuesday before another cold front swings through just in time for Groundhog Day, dropping us into the 50s, then into the 40s on Thursday. Stay with us. We've got more KCN News right after this.